Welcome back to the SciLife Academy. It's time for another trading session. Last lesson, we learned some key concepts. Remember that ISA 19011-2018 contains guidance on managing an audit program, the principles of auditing, and the evaluation of individuals responsible for managing audit programs. In this lesson, you will learn the seven principles of auditing according to ISO 19011-2018. Let's get started. Good management practices and good auditing practices go hand in hand. Organizations can use auditing as a tool to identify areas where they can improve their performance by following seven principles. These principles ensure that audit results are understood and can be relied on by clients and interested parties. As per ISO 19011-2018, audits are based on seven principles. Integrity, fair presentation, due professional care, confidentiality, independence, evidence-based approach, and risk-based approach. Implementing these principles effectively provides a basis for successfully managing and conducting ISO management system audits. Ideally, two different auditors working independently would reach similar conclusions under similar circumstances if they followed these principles. Let's have a look at the meaning of each principle. Auditory integrity is the cornerstone of professionalism, especially when overseeing an audit program. Integrity is the quality of being transparent, honest and truthful. This standard requires auditors to conduct their work ethically. Their behavior must be honest and responsible. Auditors should be competent and have the right skills. In another lesson, we'll talk about this requirement. As well as maintaining impartiality, they should remain unbiased when they talk to auditees. Lastly, auditors should be aware of anything outside of their control that could potentially affect their judgment. There are many external influences that could compromise an auditor's independence and objectivity, such as personal biases, conflicts of interest, and pressures from management. As auditors become aware of these influences, they can ensure that their decisions and conclusions are based solely on information obtained during the audit, rather than external factors. The term fair presentation refers to auditors reporting audit findings, conclusions, recommendations, as well as results truthfully and accurately. Everything should honestly reflect reality, facts and evidence. In the final report, auditors should also report any major hurdles or risks encountered during the audit, in addition to any disagreements between the audit team and the organization being audited. Auditors should communicate findings in a timely, clear, accurate and complete manner. For example, as part of the audit report, the logic trail leading to each finding can be accurately described including audit criteria associated with an audit objective. The report should also be independent and objective, honest in terms of being accurate and reliable, and sufficiently complete so that an independent third-party auditor would reach the same results as the audit team. Due professional care means that auditors must be diligent and use their best judgment when auditing. For example, when exercising professional care, they conduct the audit based on a reliable audit plan, reports are done in a reasonable way and they include objective results. To exercise due professional care, auditors also need to demonstrate competence and skill in conducting audits, as well as maintaining partiality and independence. During an audit, confidentiality means keeping sensitive and confidential information in a safe and secure environment. An auditor must use discretion and avoid using the information they obtain for personal gain or in a way that could harm the organization. It's important for them to handle sensitive and confidential information properly so it doesn't get leaked or used improperly. A good auditor must be independent from the activities they audit and should not have any conflicts of interest. This implies that the auditor cannot be intimidated, pressured or compromised in providing unbiased audit conclusions. The auditor should be independent from the area being audited, if possible, so they can provide an objective evaluation of compliance. 
In auditing, evidence-based approach is a systematic approach to obtain reliable, accurate and appropriate audit findings. This approach is suitable for time and resource constrained situations. Based on the evidence collected, the audit team can conclude and make reasonable conclusions. An audit based on risk involves assessing the risks and opportunities associated with a quality management system audited, as well as the operation processes, products and services. To ensure the audit objectives are met, this risk assessment involves identifying the risks that are used to plan, conduct and report audits. That's all. Thank you for attending this course. I hope you found it useful and that it has met your learning expectations. See you in other courses at the Academy as you continue your educational journey with Sidelife.